Hi everyone, it's the English Slimmer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 University Life Part 16. Can we all just take a minute to appreciate Dylan's sexy face? Hello, my name is Dylan and this is my sexy face. Yep, so hot Dylan. So hot. Oh! Seb, I wasn't expecting that from you. Oh, neither, neither was Martin, apparently. Look at Seb, he's so scrawny, bless him. And he's just having a great time running in, running into, um, can I just get a screenshot of this? Running in to Carrie's room, absolutely naked, whilst she's asleep in her bed. Like, what is going on? What is happening in this picture? Amazing. He's scrawny, but he's ripped. He is Shrieker, running around in his birthday suit never gets old for Seb. <laughs> Seb, when do you have class? Oh, these two have... Okay, we're gonna have to break up this party. Uh, Ashley missed her own party. That doesn't make sense. Um, Can we break up the party? Um, break up party because we need to get to sleep and Marcia fell man down man down man down nice party not I'm out of here nice party I gotta go though I have to leave now but thanks for inviting me oh my god everyone's dropping like flies oh my god this is hilarious you sure know how to throw an awesome party and they had a great date and Dylan, get your little booty to sleep. Dylan's party has dragged to a close. The guests are already complaining about Dylan's hosting skills. Whatever. Some of you liked it. Don't even lie. You know you liked it. So I'm gonna skip this part and I'll get back to you guys in the morning once everyone's waking up. So all the sims have just woken up on their own accord, but he does not in fact have uni until quite late, so he can go back to sleep. The other two however do kind of need to get up. So they can start getting ready and do all that stuff and then they can come down here and eat leftover waffles and eat leftover waffles. Dylan, how's your- your academic bar's pretty high. Yours is really high, yours is really high. Cool. So, come on guys, get ready. Get ready. My voice sounds so croaky. And I was on Omegle the other night, like, we've started doing this thing, like, pretty much every night, where people have started putting like simming community and everyone just finds each other on omegle and everyone goes to me oh my god your voice sounds so different from when you're recording and apparently i sound more english when i'm not recording and i don't know why but on my videos i sound so bored and i can assure you guys i'm not but i don't know why like even my family have said 
you don't sound like how you really sound. I'm like, oh my god, I just want to sound the same. So, Dylan, where are you? You're helping Sharon do a juice keg at 8 a.m. In the last part, I said someone else was um, the the face of alcoholism. This is the face of alcoholism. This is an alcoholic. I thought she'd be all like against drinking because she's a plant. But I suppose plants drink water. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Dylan, why don't you study to get your thing up a bit? And look at this cute little snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Get mail. We have mail. And check social drops. Because we want to get more up in our... What? We want to get up more. Hey, there's a letter for Dylan from Ashley. It says, I've been dreaming of you and me getting together. Will you make my dreams come true? No, we don't want nerds. Check for rebellious. Hmm. Seb got a letter in the mail from Tiffany Angles. It reads, I find you attractive, but I couldn't tell you in person. Oh, here we go. A gaggle of rebels hanging out in the Thomas School of Art are in desperate need of a pick-me-up. Go find the perfect coffee bean for them. Okay, I'll try. Oh, we have to find five? What? Like, we can't even because... We can't even do that because it's winter and all the plants will be frozen so that makes no sense like no stop stop Seb you can get up now and you can take a quick shower and then repair that shower because it's broken once again and you can repair this shower because that one's broken no, actually, before you, ah, uh, before you repair showers, use the toilet, and then repair that shower. Like the house bitch that you are. You two don't get on well at all, do you? They just don't have the same interests, like whatsoever. Apparently, Dylan's creeped out. Oh no, Dylan's acting creepy towards her, and Dylan poor Dylan through a lame party. Some, th some sims throw awesome parties, others throw parties that, are com that compare roughly with a stomach virus. They just compared our party to a stomach virus. Dude, you didn't even get a shower. Like, what? Are you flirting? Stop. This is not acceptable. Um, you both have other halves. Well, you do, Eliza. She's building a snowman. And Dylan's gonna go turn on a radio. I don't really know why. How are you? Oh, Seb's doing his private things. <laughs> um, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Ooh, I don't know what I want them to do. They've got class in a bit anyway. You can eat leftover waffles. And you two are going to class. Good stuff. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Seb, I don't know why your classes start so late, but it's quite handy. He saved water from having a quick shower. He's so cute. I'm glad we made him an eco warrior. It suits his personality, like, to a T. Like, I could imagine him being an eco warrior. I'm gonna go make sure Dylan doesn't fall asleep. Oh, oh. Sharon, you're slow. We're fast. Haha. <laughs> oh my god, I wanted to check out that dude in his like snapback. Oh, there seems to be a hold up. Whoa! Why is there so many people here? Go to your lecture, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. Okay, he's here. Good lad. Ew. Steven, you smell. Don't sit next to us. Watch it. He'll come on. Oh no, we're sat next to this. I was about to call her a dude, but it's a, it's a woman. 
Carol Chen, who's already asleep. Wow, guys, you are you are really putting in effort into your degrees right here. Oh, Sharon's on our course, and she's reading Baby Incoming. Seb, is there something you're not telling us? Think your girlfriend may be expecting a plant baby. So come on, Dylan. No, don't play juice pong. I'll queue up some. Ask a question. Um, take notes. Ask a question. Take notes. Ask a question. Take notes. See, she's asking a question now that she just woke up. She's asking, um, excuse me, what did I just miss whilst I was asleep? Like, she has a really long arm. What's going on there? Let's check out our lecturer. He looks boring as... You look really boring, dude. Garrison Fort. He even has a boring name. Interesting. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. 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 Really? Show us something. Okay, come on. Seb, what are you doing? <clears throat> why don't you study? Oh, actually, why don't you study brain? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Drawing. Okay. <coughs> oh, there's a pie chart. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I got far too carried away in that. Oh, Dylan! You little... Shit. I told you not to sleep, and then you go ahead and freaking sleep. Uh, ignore that call whilst you're in class. Yeah, you better take some notes. Eliza, how are you going on? You're still not very good at sketching. Sorry guys, my computer had a freak out session. So we are um, back right now, I suppose. And yeah, she's still in class and attempting to draw, but she's still not very good, bless her. And she has finished class for the day. She wants to start a protest. And I don't know if we should or not. Hmm. I don't think we're going to. Seb! Seb's drinking alcohol already. Naughty Seb. That should not be allowed. Dylan, are you on your way home? You are. Someone said Dylan should have a makeover. Oops. And the thing is, I'll give Dylan a makeover when we finish uni because then he won't be like wearing his sports gear and stuff like that and someone oh Seb are you on your way to class oh you are so yeah I'll probably change up Dylan's look and stuff after we have finished uni because it'll just be easier to do so and he'll look a bit more grown up I suppose are you on your way home you are. Good. What? What's going up there? Oh, nothing. It was just lagging. You can go home and practice your painting, I reckon. Yeah, your mood's pretty good. Um, why don't you check the job board for social group? We'll see if there's any... Why are you yelling at us? Go away, Jacob. Go away! Stop being mean. Rent a party. A charity needs your help. They've offered to rent a party for their fundraiser and you need to raise the roof while putting on the fun in fundraiser. Um, no, we threw a party yesterday. Sorry. Dylan, do you want to come up here and pump some iron? And Eliza, continue with your painting. We may as well. And Seb, please don't tell me. Oh, 
Stop falling asleep. Um, take notes. Just take numerous notes. Who is this girl? Ruby Parks. She looks clever. Like, really clever. <clears throat> so, Seb, just keep on taking notes. Please. And they're like the only two in this lecture. It is a 4pm lecture. I hate late lectures. They absolutely suck. You're just like, oh, I want to go home so bad. Dylan, why don't you push yourself? Because then you'll go up a little faster. How's your academics bar? You're doing really well. And so are you. What are you working? Oh, she's still working on this crazy picture. I really want to see what this is. Once she's finished. Come on. I can't even work out what it's going to be. Like, in the slightest. Oh, that's it. Well, let's sell that. And then, how are you feeling? Paint a still life. Oh crap, I forgot that that means that. I don't actually want to paint a still life. Paint a medium. Dylan, you are smelly. So why don't you go grab a shower? Seb, are you coming home? You are, so you can repair the shower. Cool, that'll get your handiness up. Dylan, come and shower. And Seb, you can repair this shower because everything seems to be breaking. Like, seriously, everything. And your skill is about to go up again. Woohoo! I'm impressed with these sims. Except tomorrow is their exam day, which is quite scary because then they've finished uni. Congratulations, Eliza has just improved her painting skill to level six. Eliza feels overcome by a stroke of artistic brilliance. Sweet. That's really good. However, I want them to be ready for tomorrow, so I'm going to get all their needs up. Well, attempt to get their needs up. Dylan, where are you? And then you can all go for some food. So eat leftover waffles, eat leftover waffles, and you're feeling fine. And then Oh, there's another broken computer and another one. So Seb is literally just going to be repairing stuff all night. Bless him. But oh well, it's his job. Well, not his job, but he um, he gets uh, higher grades by doing this. So it's quite good for him. Dylan, you're getting your needs up which is fine. You can watch some TV and so can you. I actually, I think I'm gonna try and get them to get some money again just so that we have enough money to actually move into a house. Congratulations, Steb has repaired enough plumbing objects to complete the plumber skill challenge. Woohoo! Go Seb! What level is he on? He's level 7 handiness. Purely based on the fact that he has just fixed everything in this house for the past two days. Which is quite good. Eliza, have you almost finished eating? Cool. And then you can all get a good night's sleep, I suppose. Handiness goes up so quickly. Like, he's already level 8. He's really quick at fixing things. And then you can go to the toilet. And when are all your classes tomorrow? You don't have class till quite late. And when do you guys have it? Oh, you don't have it till late. You have it quite early. 
Oh, you didn't eat, Dylan. Oh well. Dylan, you can get some sleep. Oops, I was meant to go up. So yeah, Dylan, you go and have sleep because you really need to get yours sleep in. And Seb, why don't you come and um, get a little romantic with Sharon. Hold her hands and um, Amorous hug her and kiss her and take romantic photo together. How are you feeling? You can go to sleep too. And then we'll just have Seb come and chat to his girlfriend for a bit and then he can go to sleep. Go on Seb. So after you've done all that you can sleep too. These two are adorable. And because Seb's like eco-friendly now, it means that he cares about her even more. Because she is a plant sim. Which is really sweet. Aww. Sharon. I like Sharon. Except her eyes are quite scary. They're like bright yellow. Oops. Aww, look at them. Ignore that phone. Way to ruin the moment, Sims. He wants to flirt with Sharon. There we go. They have their romantic picture. And then ignore that call again. I'm gonna skip through this part whilst they're all sleeping and I'll get back to you guys in the morning once everyone's woken up and stuff like that. And oh my goodness, Sharon's now sleeping in Seb's room. That is so cute. Oh my god, I love them. So yeah, I'm going to skip through this and I'll see you guys in a second. So the boys and Eliza have just woken up and I actually want Eliza to make an exam cheat sheet. I don't really know if she's going to get away with this, but she is doing fairly well in school, but I don't know whether her rebellious has to be higher or not. But. We're gonna make a cheat sheet and probably sell our answers to someone. If we can. I think this is possible to do. Okay, Dylan has his exams. I think he only has one class. He does, so we're gonna have him um, try hard. And did she make a cheat sheet? Cheat sheet. Eliza has a cheat sheet up her sleeve like an ace of spades. Exams are, obs exams are obstacles no more and if she doesn't get caught cheating. Can we sell these to people? I want to see if that's possible. Um, where is everyone? I can hear voices. Where are you people? I don't want to sell it to Sharon. Um, let's give him a really loud introduction. Seb, how are you? F you're in a good mood, okay. And then, can we try and... Can we try and sell them to you? Um... Rebellious? No. Um... Friendly? Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Catch anything, ask to sketch. Um, I don't think we can sell it. Damn, I want another sim to get into trouble. Funny, nope. Mean, nope. Nope. Romantic, no. Oh well, that's okay, I suppose. Um, dude have some cereal and then you can go upstairs and use the toilet and take a shower if you have time. Seb's cleaning up. Um, Dylan how are you getting on? He seems to be doing fine. I don't know if I want to risk cheating on her exam or not. What do I do? Hmm. Whoa, calm down, Seb. 
Seb, how long do you have? Okay, you have enough time to go and do this. Go and genius IQ. Because you can. And then we'll just skip through all of this and wait for their exams too. Brilliant megaphonist. Eliza is a first rate practitioner of the noisy arts. A recent bout of megaphone ownage has pumped her up. <laughs> of course it has. Eliza is a loud mouth. So he currently has the genius IQ, so he's going to do really well in his exams. We're going to quickly study. Study a little bit. Eliza, how are you? I'm going to ignore that call because it's not important. And why aren't you trying hard? Oh, you're too stressed. Oh, I'm sorry, Dylan. I feel mean now. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you uh, stressed out. Right, come on. Ignore the call. Can this person stop calling us? I'm... Uh, no. I was going to end this part, but we may as well just wait until these guys have done their exams. Yeah, you go critique. Oh, I didn't even see that. Why did I not read that? He, oh, he passed with flying colours. Okay, sweet. Dylan passed. Dylan, why don't you to go and entertain yourself for doing so well? Where is the bowler armour? Go and do some bowling because you did really well and I am proud of you. Um, can you sketch? Oh, no, their classes are starting. So, um, cheat on exam. Use everything at your disposal to cheat through an exam but risk getting caught. Um, you know what, no, I'm not gonna risk it. I'll just have her do normal effort. Dude, get to class. Dylan, are you at the bowler place? Bowling? Not bowler. Come on. Good. Let's, um... Let's do some bowling. Because we can. Oh my god, look, it's my favourite person ever. It's the old man with tiny fairy wings. His pink little fairy rings. He's so cute. Dax, you are my favourite. You are my favourite person ever. I love Dax. Purely based on the fact that he has hot pink baby fairy wings. I want to see how fairies bowl. Do they bowl any differently? Because that would be quite cool if they do. Dylan. Ignore that call. Oh no, they don't. Oh, Dylan just fell. But he did quite well. Oh, everyone's falling over. That's not very good. So, come on Dylan, carry on bowling. What? Oh crap, we didn't even cheat and we got caught cheating. Oh, crud. Academic fraud is serious offence. Eliza got caught, so she'll have to try and get her name cleared. Oh my god, look at how low down our bar's gone. No! Oh no, I'm so mad at myself. Why did I do that? Why? How do we get our name cleared? Oh my god, this is annoying. Um, Where's the... That's the science building. There's the admonition. Try to clear name. Come on, Eliza. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I want to get your name cleared, girl. I don't want to fail uni. Damn, I shouldn't have tried to cheat. Now that your name is tarnished by an act of cheating, the only way you can clear a name 
is to by recording an anti-cheating video that will be shown to future students. Yes, let's do it. I'll record a video. Record anti-cheating video. But that means our thing's probably not gonna go up. Oh man, who is he? Who are you? Oh. Levi Williams. You're not as cute as I thought you were gonna be. Oh man, I'm so annoyed at myself. We were so close to being on the Dean's list and getting an A. Damn it. What does this teach you guys? Never cheat on an exam. Because you will get caught. Come on, I want to finish this video. Damn. Dylan Boulder 52. I don't even know if that's good or not. Catch up on old times. Um, right, come on. How long does it take to record a video? God, I feel sorry for Eliza now. I feel mean. I was like, yeah, she's rebellious. She's not going to get caught. I didn't even know that not using them would get you caught, not caught. Damn. Let's read what this says. You cleared your name from cheating. Eliza has earned the remove, has removed the court from cheating moodlet. Except look at how low our experience is. Damn it. I'm so annoyed at myself. I'm gonna end this part here guys. Thank you all for watching. Please give this part a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next part. Bye guys!